We have uh, a lot of thoughts about uh, this night market. Tonight is gonna be so exciting. We are going to be heading out to the Sanrio and Friends Lunar New Year Night Market. It's in LA. You know, I'm such a huge fan of Hello Kitty. It's a night market, we get to eat. We are dressed for the occasion. Before we jump into the outfit, let me first start with today's fragrance. Bath and Body Works Blush Cardigan, a Fragrance Notes, Sweet Raspberries, Sugar Dipped, Violet, Warm Amber. And then we are going to layer it with Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I think this will be a good combo. Pulse points. Ooh, that just went in my mouth. In case you're new here, I'm Christine and this channel is dedicated to all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. If that's something that might interest you, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would please subscribe. So let me share with you really quickly outfit of the day. Which h &M fitted top. It's ribbed with a sweetheart neckline. I have the same exact one except in cream. Skirt, I'm gonna link this one down below. It's a plaid pleated skirt and it's an A-line which I'm not really used to. Oh, it's Hello Kitty. It's pink, black, and white. And then I'm wearing double tights. These are from Shaper Mint. Oh my gosh, if you have not tried Shaper Mint tights, highly recommend checking them out i've never felt a material quite like this they're stretchy they're also supposed to be no tear but i am wearing double layers so underneath i am wearing a nude pair and then layered a sheer black one over top just for some warmth because the temperature is going to be i think in the low 40s tonight forever 21 boots in black they are platform and they also have a heel and a jacket we are we actually just did a really quick unboxing it should be up already match it with the kate spade backpack the pink also really matches the pink on the skirt and then we also have some earmuffs i finally found a pair that i like and it is also kate spade so soft fold them in and it's the perfect shade of light pink that is tonight's outfit we need to head out because our tickets are for later this evening station. Jonathan basically told me I could go down and wait in the line. He's just gonna park somewhere. Of course I felt bad. We started looking for places to eat. I was thinking about sushi and luckily he saw a sushi place right across the street from where Hello Kitty event is happening. Sushi Ajito. We're just gonna eat. I think we can park here and then probably walk over to that event. this music. Well, I love K-pop too, but he loves it even more. We were standing 
standing in the wrong line. The line we were in was to pay for our items. We just want to take a picture and I think we're going to go. Jonathan tapped out. That was just too much for him. We have uh, a lot of thoughts about uh, this night market, but I think we're going to talk about it when we get home. Thank you for taking me and thank you for actually stepping foot inside the Hello Kitty and Friends Lunar New, Lunar New Year Night Market. It is exactly midnight, so we have a lot to chat about and I'm gonna be very honest. First off, I don't think I mentioned the price point. It was $5 per person. I think each ticket, $6 and some change. Really, it wasn't that bad. Parking was horrible because um, it's basically street parking. Luckily, we had eaten dinner first across the street, so we were able to park there. The sushi restaurant we went to wasn't very good. Actually, we should have eaten at Fat Cells, which is more like a burger place, which was only a couple doors down. We would rate this sushi place a three out of five. When I think of the term night market, it always makes me think of the six to six night market where there are different vendors and there's food, games, and it's outdoors, right? Even the six to six mini night market, that was still fun. You know, they didn't have the games, but there were lots of food vendors. I would say the Hello Kitty and Friends Lunar New Year night market. I wouldn't really consider it to be an actual night market. So in that aspect, I do think it was misleading. It was just more of a pop-up and I think that they should have labeled it as a pop-up shop, not really with the term night market, even though technically they did have this at night, but it really didn't have that vibe of like a, you know, like an actual night market. Let's talk about the backdrop where you could take photos. The one thing I really wanted was to take a picture with the Hello Kitty mascot, even my Melody, at least one of the mascot characters, not just a backdrop. And that was disappointing as well. The thing is they had sold tickets, I think it was for five, seven every two hours, just so that there weren't a whole group of people there at one time. When you purchase the tickets, which I didn't know you had to purchase the tickets in advance. So the only tickets left were for the 10 o'clock slot. Yeah, I was disappointed because I couldn't take a picture with the actual Hello Kitty and Friends mascots. If they do have another one of these in the future, you could count me out. It was disappointing. I really wouldn't consider it a night market. It was just a pop-up shop, which is what they should have called it in the first place. So those are my two cents about it. I hope you guys still enjoyed hanging out for this vlog. It was just a lot of fun, in my opinion, to go to it. Comment below what you thought of the Hello Kitty and Friends Lunar New Year Night Market. Would love to hear your thoughts if you had attended. Would love to hear your feedback as well. How was the experience for you? As always, thank you so much for hanging out for a bit, joining me for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you Chicky so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you in the next vlog.